me back with a face mask because I love them. I'm actually using this one. My sister left it at my house. It is the Dr. Barbara Sturm. I actually really love this brand. I don't usually venture out of brands besides Sonia because of my skin, but this is like a really, really, really gentle mask. So I think Barbara Sturm says she literally wears this every day. So it's more of just like a morning wake up. So I'm gonna sit with this. I just finished my walk and kind of just, I don't know, a face mask like calms my soul. Like when I just put it on, like I don't know why I just feel like I can breathe. I'm gonna do a lot of meal prepping today, so I thought I would take you guys along with me just because meal prepping is so important in my routine. I just feel like I have more of a successful week. I feel less stressed about food. Excuse me, I just chugged my breakfast. Chugged my breakfast, I don't even know if that's a thing. I'm also babysitting a dog. If you see him in the background, I'm babysitting Ballet's dog, he'll make an appearance. But yeah, I feel like meal prepping is just setting yourself up for success. It allows you to, or for me, it allows me to not just eat whatever's in the fridge. If I have things that are prepped, I really just find it super easy to grab those healthy and nutritious foods. When you have like a really busy day, I feel like it's so nice to be like, I have snacks prepped or I have some meals prepped. I'm really gonna focus on the snacks for you guys today and then I'm gonna show like one meal I prep just because snacks are something that's so important to me. When I'm like, have that break where I want something to eat, to be able to grab a healthy snack that also for me, I like a little like, treat kind of vibe to it, have some chocolate in it. It's just so satisfying and also I'm just keeping my body fueled, helping my muscles with a lot of my snacks have like high protein in them, which is so good. A lot of times we don't realize that we don't have enough, we don't take enough protein in, especially if we are working out quite a bit. So yeah, I'm gonna share that with you guys. But I went on a walk this morning with a couple girlfriends and I hope this can help anyone. That's why I wanna share it because it really resonated with me. I was just telling my girlfriend that I feel like I, to my family, to my friends, am the one that opens the door to be like vented to. And that's just a role that like I've taken on because I do really love to be there for people and like help in any way or just even listen. But what I noticed is that I was like holding on to a lot of people in my life's energy and um, it was slightly draining me and also I feel really overwhelmed, but it doesn't feel like mine, if that makes sense. And so she was like, picture your body and your mind and your soul like a house. Right now, you're renting out spaces for people. So you're renting out rooms for people and they're just like living there and I was like, oh my gosh, I have like so many people that I'm thinking about are just living in me. Not their fault, it's, it's definitely mine. So she was saying, try wearing like a shield or imagine like a bubble around you and when those people do enter into your space that you don't feel like you're gonna hold on or take on their energy because you have almost this like imaginary shield on that is mostly just sealing your energy so you're not feeling drained. Again, that might be like a little interesting to hear but I am gonna practice that into my routine of like, putting a bubble over me and then also like she was like imagine if you have a plug in you and then you have a plug in that person and you guys are just like a cord and she's like you need to cut that cord and allow allow yourself to just like protect your energy and like protect yourself that you're not feeling like so so drained so i'm literally going to visualize and imagine myself like cutting those cords and that doesn't mean i'm cutting them out that just means i'm allowing space for them to come in but not taking it on so i don't know if that's helpful for anyone else but i really needed to hear that today and not like i'm like i got it i know how that's gonna work it's like i'm just gonna start practicing it and visualizing it and see if it works for me so um yeah i love stuff like that so i'm gonna take off this mask kind of freshen up and gonna do some meal prepping with you guys today and let's do it here's mr wilson Oh, he's just relaxing. All right, I got a little fancy for you guys, but also I have to shoot some photos today for some brands, so I'm just 
feeling refreshed, feeling good. These jeans are from Zara, which I've shared before. They fit incredible. They do stretch out a little bit, so if they start out tight, I wouldn't be worried because they start to stretch. And then this top is actually for Zara too. I actually got it for Miami and then it didn't show up, so now I'm just rocking it here in LA. And then I have this little crop tank top that I love from Brandy. I'm gonna start with doing my meal prep, so I am prepped for my week. And again, it really sets me up for success. I feel so good when things are in the fridge, especially snacks, because I feel like that's the number one go-to to like head to the pantry. So these are some of my favorite snacks I'm gonna share with you guys, as well as breakfast. I feel like when you're on the go, that is like the meal we miss out on the most, just because we're like, I don't have time, I have too many things to do, and then we don't eat, end up eating breakfast. So I'm gonna walk you guys through some of my favorites. Also trying new recipes, so that will be if they work, I'll share, but we'll see. But I'm gonna start with, with my protein balls, which you guys know are my obsession. I've shared them here before, but I'm gonna share them again, just because I truly meal prep them every week. They have protein in them, they have flax in them, they have nut butter, so healthy fats in them. I need a lot of fiber right now. I mentioned in my last video with my hormones, it's really good for me to bind my hormones with a lot of awesome fiber, so I'm having some gluten-free oats. I mean, we're just gonna have some tastiness, plus the chocolate is just like game over. So I'm gonna make these first and then I'll show you guys what's next. First, I'm going to add one cup of blended gluten-free oats. I added one scoop of vanilla protein. Make sure you like your protein powder. Then I did a fourth cup of flaxseed and a fourth cup of coconut shreds. I added a half a cup of peanut butter. I realized I could not get it out, so I needed to grab a spoon. Then I added a third cup of honey. Next, we're going to mix it really well. Option to use your hands, or you can use a spoon of any sort, but I find it easiest when I just mix it with my hands. But yes, it will get messy. Next, we're gonna add some dark chocolate chips. I try and get 80% cacao. I love adding the chocolate for an extra sweet taste. I usually use a soft spoon first to really stir it and then use my hands, but I couldn't find the spoon, so it got very messy quick. Once your dough is ready to go, then you're gonna put it saran wrap over and leave in the fridge for 20 minutes to let it harden just a little bit. After 20 minutes, I came back and the dough is ready. You're just going to roll up pieces into balls. Really, you can make them the size that feels best for you, but they make about 12 to 15 balls. Okay, so protein balls are done. These are seriously so easy, you guys. I share them all the time because again, super easy, but you're getting so many nutritious things in here. So I'm gonna take a bite. So good. I'm gonna put them in the fridge, let them sit. Next up, I'm gonna do a chia seed pudding. This is so good for a quick breakfast, especially eating before a workout if you do like to eat something. Um, I find it really light, refreshing, and also it has chia seeds in it, which is incredible. Again, I have to eat a lot of these right now for some good fiber. I'm going to mix it with some almond milk, coconut cream, and vanilla extract and maple syrup. And then the next day, so you leave it overnight, I'll just add my berries and I just love it. I do think you have to like coconut if you're gonna use the cream that I'm gonna show you. But if you do not, option is to just use the milk and you can meal prep like four to five jars and save them in your fridge for the whole week. I am going to meal prep a couple of jars. I put two tablespoons of chia seeds in each jar. Also, I've just collected these different jars over time, or you can get them on Amazon. Then I'm gonna add a little less than half a cup of almond milk. I like mine to be a thicker consistency, so I'll do a little less milk. Option two is to add a scoop of coconut cream if you really wanted a thicker consistency. Next, I'm gonna add a drizzle of maple syrup and not shown was the vanilla extract. I also added a teaspoon of vanilla extract then you're gonna cap your jars and we're gonna give it a really good shake. You could also add a spoon in there and really stir it. You'll leave them overnight in the fridge and they'll be ready to go in the morning. I was gonna share this recipe, but it is new. My girl Emmy just helped me make it. It's the baked 
oats, which I feel like has been all over like TikTok and everywhere and I've actually been wanting to try it. So we made it just to make sure it was tasty before I talk about it. It is really good. It kind of tastes like, I feel like it just tastes like oatmeal, but you're not having to like sit at the stove and like stir. You kind of just stick it in the oven and then it's ready and then it's a little bit more of like a cake consistency, I would say. So it was, richer. yeah, I feel it does feel richer. So we really liked it, but the only thing with this ingredients I would say is we needed to add more like cinnamon or something to make it a little sweet because I think that is the thing with oats. They can be super, super bland. Obviously they don't have a lot of flavor, so you have to kind of have really good add-ins. So I'm gonna keep playing with this recipe, but I do think this is a really good option if you were like, again, in a hurry, but wanted to plop in, plop, wanted to plop in the oats. You can just stick them in the oven and leave them in for 15 minutes so that when you come back downstairs from getting ready, your food's ready rather than sitting there. I think that is like the biggest discouragement that people don't like want to just sit at the stove because you just feel like you're wasting time if you don't have it. So I think finding recipes like this is super, super easy. So I'm gonna master it and then I'll share another recipe with you guys. Okay. Mm. Next on my list for meal prepping, this one's actually newer to me, but I've seen people do this, so I'm gonna try it. I make a smoothie every single day, like truly no doubt after a workout, I just love having a smoothie. I feel like it's easy. Again, you're getting that protein in, especially after a workout, so you can feel those muscles and build and tone. So instead, I'm, look at my hand. <laughs> instead, I'm gonna meal prep the smoothie in one of these like recyclable bags, which are incredible. I honestly really love these. I'll list the brand below, but I'm gonna try meal prepping the smoothie, obviously I'm not gonna add the milk or the water, and then I'm also not gonna add the nut butter. That'll add on the day of, but at least I can prep like the fruit, the banana, everything, and stick it in the freezer, and then these would just be ready to go, and I can just plop it in the smoothie and be done. So I'm gonna meal prep a smoothie bag. I'm gonna add some banana, which I think is so nice because it'll be frozen, adding a cup of frozen blueberries and a cup of spinach. This is super nice because you can just leave it in the freezer and then in the morning when you're ready to go, you can add it all into the smoothie bowl and add the protein and any nut butters plus milk. Okay, so other things that, um, before I show you guys a like lunch dinner meal prep, other things that I already have meal prepped in my fridge is boiled eggs. If you guys know me, I feel like I am such an egg lover. I feel like JC's always like, you're so gross. I could eat eggs like for dinner, as a snack. So I just meal prep these. It's so flippin' easy. And again, you just grab it. You could put it on your toast for breakfast. You could have it as a snack. Just put some everything bagel seasoning or salt and pepper. So these are already boiled. I just put them in the fridge and they're ready to go. Then as always, I just keep hummus and vegetables. This is another easy, easy, easy snack that you could pack in a to-go, but also just having in your fridge as an essential. You could obviously pick whatever vegetable you wanted to dip in, but I find it really great. I think hummus, I always try and look for some of the cleaner ones because there can be a lot of different ingredients in there, but I haven't tried this brand, so we'll see. Ithaca? Ithaca. Ithaca. <laughs> it's not bad. You guys don't judge me, okay? So another thing I always, always meal prep, but you could also buy it just like frozen, is rice. I think it's so easy to throw into a bowl. Anytime you're making a bowl, some carbs in there. I always love rice, JT loves it too. So I always just make a huge thing of some white jasmine rice. But again, you can just buy it frozen at Trader Joe's or wherever you shop from. They usually have frozen rice, but it's super easy and helpful that it's already ready to go. So I am going to make the sausage dish that I've shared before. It is so, so easy, you guys. If you have an oven, if you didn't even have an oven, what's another thing you could use besides an oven? Um, if you guys have an oven, this would be perfect. All you're gonna do is grab one sheet and then you're gonna put a protein, you're gonna put a vegetable, and then you're gonna put a carb. You guys can pick. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorites, but really the options are endless. I am going to use sausage, but I might sprinkle in some chickpeas too because that's another one of my favorite when you put them in the oven. And then I think I'll do broccoli and potatoes. Let me see what I have though. Hold up. So let's see. We have sausage, check. 
Um, ooh, okay, I'm also gonna sprinkle in these peppers, like having vegetables just all can cook at once and the oven is so great. So I have two peppers here, so I'll probably use those plus the broccoli. And then I'll do my yellow potatoes over here. Let's do it. So I'm gonna do a orange pepper and a red pepper. The best part is all of these are going to be in the oven at the same time. So you do not need to remove certain items. They all can go on one sheet. For my carb, I picked these yellow gold potatoes. I think they're really delicious. You could also do sweet potato or any potato that you would like. Just make sure you chop them up into small enough pieces so that they can cook on time with all the other items. For my protein, I chose these chicken sausages. Again, you could choose chickpeas, anything that really suits you. Also could add chicken in there, but I find these really easy to just plop onto the same pan. For seasoning, I like to add some olive oil, Himalayan salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and some garlic powder. This was kind of a small bowl, so I will probably be re-seasoning more when I put it onto the pan. I turned my temperature on my oven to about 375, 380 Fahrenheit, and I plop it all in and leave it in for 25 minutes. Again, this makes it super easy where I do not have to be sitting at the stove or paying attention to what I'm cooking. I just set a timer for 25 minutes and I'm back and it's ready to go. Well, this is another moment where I'm watching the video back and my microphone is not working. So I thought I would just tell you guys a new outro while this is playing and my mouth is moving, but you guys have no idea what I'm saying. But I was just saying that um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that this meal prepping video helped. If it did, please um, share below and also share what video you guys wanna see next. And make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.